Hey everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to Hello Monday. Today I'm going to be giving you a sneak preview of some upcoming essentials by Ellen Products. One is a sentiment set called All About You, and it's designed to coordinate with the Nice of You die set that we released previously. And we also have a couple of zipper dies that are going to be fun for making interactive projects. So I've got two projects today. The first one's going to be a card, and I've started with a Nina Solar White. And this is a quarter sheet, and I'm using my T-square here to mark a channel very lightly with my pencil. It's about half an inch deep. And then I'm going to use one of these zipper dies. Now, you can use uh, the long one for those slimline cards, and then the smaller one works great for more of the A2 size standard cards. Now, I'm using washi tape to anchor that in place where I made those pencil marks. I'm going to send that through my die cutting machine. And you can flip this around so that it opens from the right to the left. I decided to go left to right for this project. I'm going to erase those pencil lines because I don't need them anymore on this panel. And then I'm going to trim off half an inch off that short end there and then another half inch off the long edge along the top. And this will give me a nice border when I mount it to my A2 card base. Now I wanted to get some imagery stamped here and I've just popped this into my Misty platform because I wanted the cushion from that platform, but I'm gonna load the U stamp, which is done in a really fun groovy retro font. And I'm gonna ink up with some Distress Oxide ink in Tattered Rose and get that stamped on there. Clean it off really quick. Load up with some Bellini, which is a water-based dye ink by Catherine Pooler. And then grab one more water-based dye ink by Concord and Ninth. And this one is called Stardust. And I love it so much. It's kind of an earthy chartreuse. And I had to get the full-size pad, too, because I love this color so much. Now, I've grabbed a rainbow image from another set that's coming. It's called the Organic Elements. And I'm just going to stamp off the first generation of ink onto some scratch paper here and then go ahead and stamp onto my project. I'm just going to repeat that until I have these really super soft tattered rose uh, rainbows kind of in the background. This is going to give me kind of this boho vibe, um, the color scheme on my card. And then I'm gonna grab the base card and I need to determine where that die is so that I know where to stamp my sentiment. So I just made some marks there and I'm gonna grab my uh, T-square again and then once more make some pencil lines here so I know exactly where to stamp on my base card. And I'm gonna fold it and load that into my Misty platform and I'm gonna grab uh, the All About You set that has all of the different sentiments. And I'm going to line up specifically the one that I want to hide behind that zipper die. So I'm just going to anchor this down a little with a little bit more washi tape because I don't have it against the bumpers. Um, and then grab some painter's tape. This is that masking tape, the blue frog tape. Masker, masking tape stuff. And I'm just gonna block off what I don't want to ink so I can omit those and just ink up the sentiment that I want. And I'm being careful because there's a little one down towards the end that I didn't mask off, but it'll work out just fine. And then I can peel away the tape. And when I stamp, this sentiment is gonna land exactly where I needed it inside those pencil marks. And it will be hidden perfectly by the zipper die when I pop that thing onto the top. So I'm just gonna erase those pencil lines and I've grabbed a corner rounder. This is the corner chomper by We Are Memory Keepers and I just half did the half inch corner rounding there on two of the edges and I reflected that also on the base card because I like how it looks. And then I'm gonna take that pop panel and flip that over and add some of this uh, tape. This has got a double-sided sticky and this is a half inch width and I just find that um, it really helps to use a super sticky double-sided tape for projects like this because you want a really firm hold. So once I have all my tape in place, I can go ahead and peel those back partially. And then I, that will allow me a little bit of fudge room there in case I don't get this um, lined up perfectly straight on the first go. And then I can remove those liners once I'm sure that that's where I want it to go and press it down firmly. Now, I also like to give it just kind of a little back rub on the back just to make sure everything's where it should be. And then I added some gold stickles there and let that dry. And when the card is finished and the recipient gets it, all they have to do is grab a hold of the tab there on that zipper and peel it open to find a message that's revealed inside. You are a whole lot of lovely. Isn't that fun? 
Well, there's a lot of possibilities with this die. I've got one more for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is just show you another way to use the All About You sentiments. Now, this is a piece of black cardstock. I just wanted to give you a high contrast visual on what I'm doing. And I already prepared it with some anti-static powder so that my uh, embossing powder would only stick to where the Versamark gets stamped. So I loaded that into my Misty. I'm going to ink up with Versamark and go ahead and stamp all of these at one time. And then I'm going to grab that, grab my embossing powder. I like using a detail or fine grind of embossing powder whenever I emboss sentiments because I just find it doesn't, um, it just keeps a much crisper effect when I emboss. And I've got a brand new heat gun here. I got the Wow embossing gun and I must say I really like it. It's got dual temperatures and I like the plastic housing that protects the nozzle there because it protects me because I, a couple of times I've burned myself on my heat gun and it's not fun, I tell ya. So anyway, it heats up very nicely, very evenly. Um, and I'm just really pleased with this new heat gun I got. So I'm going to buff off the residual anti-static powder by using a Swiffer cloth. I keep that handy in my toolbox there. And then I'm grabbing the Nice of You die. And I just wanted you to see how that fits perfectly over all of these sentiments. And I'm just going to use a little bit of washi tape to anchor that down and then send that through my Gemini. When I get back, I'm going to pull that die up and you can see all of these sentiments have been pre-cut into strips and they're ready to go. And I actually like to store them in uh, a plastic baggie so that they're handy whenever I need them instead of having to do them individually one at a time. This is great because then I can do multiples in batches and do them on different colors of cardstock. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. You could know you could do it on watercolor paper and watercolor over the top if you wanted. But anyway, I do lots of them at one time and have them ready to go when I need them. So for this idea, I am going to take some quarter sheets of this pale rose cardstock and I'm going to rotate it to a vertical uh, layout and then I marked off where I wanted to put that zipper die and again I'm going left to right and I did cut through the one panel and then I'm going to line it up but I'm going to flip it around so that it lines up uh, opposite on the other side and the reason for that is when I send these through my die cutting machine I have lots of etch marks on my cutting pads and I don't want those to show on my project so when I have the etch marks on the inside and these two layers get glued together nobody will ever see those etch marks so it will look nice and crisp on the outside. So I'm going to take that one panel, which is going to be the back, and flip that over so that I'm adding um, some more of that double-sided sticky tape. And I'm going to put some half inch along the top there, just above the cut lines of the zipper die. And then I'm going to go around the perimeter there with a quarter inch. And I just wanted to have a skinnier adhesive there. And there's where my gift card is going to go. And it's going to get sandwiched in between the two of those. And you'll notice I avoided having that tape go over those cut lines from the die so that it doesn't uh, impede those when the recipient tears that open. Now, the All About You also has a coordinating U uh, die set that cuts out the letters and also cuts out a matte layer. I'm just using the letters here for this project. And then I'm going to grab um, some of those sentiments that I already pre-trimmed and I'm, I'm going to cut them down just a little bit more to size. There's no stamping law that says you can't do that. You know, the stamping police aren't going to come and get you and say, oh, you weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> you can trim them to fit exactly what you need for your project. And then I'm going to grab some washi tape here and start assembling everything together. So I've grabbed the U and I'm going to get some foam mounting tape on that. I decided to pop it up. And so the washi tape will kind of hold that together. And then when I'm ready to mount it, they're all lined up. I just peeled the liner tapes off the back and I can go ahead and mount all those letters at one time onto the front of my uh, gift card pouch. And then I'm going to go ahead and peel away the washi tape very carefully. And those additional strips um, will get mounted to the front. So I just used a tape runner or you can use a glue to go ahead and glue those down in a pleasing fashion there on the front. And then you can, you're, you're ready to sandwich those layers together. And as one last touch, I added uh, some Nouveau drops and slapped those against my work surface to flatten them out. But then when the recipient gets this, they tear it open along the top and out pops a really pretty gift card. So it's fun to coordinate your project with the colors of the gift card. I love doing that. <laughs>
And there you have it, two really fun projects featuring the upcoming All About You and the previously released Nice of You die set, as well as these zipper dies. These are coming soon, June 11th. Stay tuned.